Hey everyone, Harris here with iDownload Blog, and we saw some changes to multitasking and gestures for the iPad with iOS 12. And here's the beginner's guide to getting the most out of multitasking and gestures on the iPad in iOS 12. The core multitouch gestures still exist pinch to go home, slide side to side to multitask, and swipe up to get to recent apps, as well as Control Center on iOS 11. However, the new single finger gestures have changed with iOS 12 as well as what they do. Now, swiping up and holding acts as a double tap of the home button and reveals multitasking where you can see all your recent apps and close them with a swipe. However, a single swipe up acts as the home button and closes the app. A short direct swipe up brings up the dock and a swipe down from the top right corner brings your iPhone 10 style control center for quick settings and controls and you can customize these options in settings. Finally, a swipe up into either side will slide between your recent apps instantly, also like the iPhone 10. There is a little bit of a learning curve there, you have to kind of master the art of the swipe, but it's pretty simple once you get a hang of it. Think of it like pulling up the dock but then sliding either right or left depending on which direction of recent apps you are going. In terms of multitasking, things are the same. You can slide in an app from the dock or the recents to get into multitasking side by side, and you can adjust the width of each side. Pull over a third app and you can get three layers of multitasking. When watching a video, you can close the application and if supported, it will do video overlay to get up to three layers of multitasking going at once. Drag the divider all the way to one side or the other or all the way up to maximize, minimize, or close the respective application for getting out of the mode. A thumbs up lets us know that this video helped or you enjoyed it. You can check out iDownloadBlog.com for more.